It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Kevin Carr. And this is It's Movie Time. It is. And Kevin, yeah. it's always war time. It seems we're always in it. In the movies it certainly is, <laughs> and <laughs> elsewhere. I know. So there's a new one out called The Outpost. Mm -hmm. Now, initially, everybody's interested because we have kids of famous actors. Yeah, well, there's other just regular famous actors. Yes, yeah, but yeah. the Scott Eastwood, yep. Milo um, uh, Gibson. Oh, Milo Gibson. Yeah. I even think there's a Jagger somewhere in here. I think so. Well, but you also have more Orlando Bloom shows up. He gets his own. He gets his own fame. <laughs> yeah, over, he right, leads the cast, although he's gone after. <laughs> yeah, he's not in it for the whole movie. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> there, are, there are several soldiers who don't yes. make it. Well, it's 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 a it's a it's a war movie. So there's a fire there's firefights, and uh, you know war is a dangerous thing. So yeah, there is there is some uh, there's some violence that happens in it. Very much so. It's northern Afghanistan, mm -hmm. 2006 through nine, but I think ours is 2009. Yeah, and a little boxed like canyon. The worst place to put an outpost yeah. from a military perspective. Down in the bottom of a valley, well, just surrounded well, shouldn't by. Shouldn't we be up there this whole time? Yeah, you're literally surrounded by high ground. So, as the Taliban wants to, when they want to come down, uh, you're 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 boxed in, and it's the story of these uh, these soldiers who have to defend an indefensible post. It's called the Battle of Kamdesh. Okay. And uh, there are 400 Taliban in those hills. Yeah. And about 50 American soldiers. Yes. Isn't that just amazing? You think you could make up a story like this? Well, it's true, and it's a real thing. And that's, honestly, that's one of the things I thought was the, the neatest thing about this movie was it, it doesn't get into is it right, is it wrong, or e even any of the politics or even the military tactical reasoning yes. of why they're there, which is what you get as a soldier. You, you're just put in the outpost. They don't need to run by you while you're there. Yeah, right. In fact, at one point, I think one of the soldiers asked what the mission is. And I think they, don't die. That's <laughs> not right. It's, it's survival, mm -hmm. and and that's really the operative word for these people. Uh, yeah. But there, it's, what, one of the things that I like about it too is that it does try to concentrate on the individual efforts, even though some sometimes I lose who it is, and I have to admit, Kev, Rod Lurie, the director, yeah. told people who first saw the film they should see it with a big screen, yeah. lots of light. But boy, on my screen, I lost quite a bit. It's so dark. Well, and, and it is a large, it's it's a large cast because yes. I mean you're going to have soldiers in the outpost. You get you you're not going to have an outpost with five guys. Yeah. And if it look if you're not a military person, if you've not been in the military, and I've not been in the military, so I don't know what it's like to be in a two firefight. Of us, the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it feels very authentic. Mm -hmm. It feels very realistic. But the other thing that you get from here is the nuance and the the, the, the minutia of the different jobs and what you do and who's here and the, the chain of command, which is a lot more complex than most people think, and j just what everybody's doing and everybody has a job. But to somebody like me who, who's, who's not been through that, it's kind of white noise, but you still have to try and focus on who's who and, and who's... Uh, you know who are the heroes and 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 who are the, the the focus of the story, which I think Laurie does a really good job keeping the focus on at least the two or three soldiers that were kind of following. Yes. Yeah, and uh, the whole latter half, well, not the whole latter half, but an important part of that latter half is uh, Mace is is has been wounded, mm -hmm. and Carter is uh, who that's uh, Caleb Landry Jones. Yeah, does a really good job on this. Uh, is trying to save him, yeah. and they they turn their efforts toward, and he turns his film toward just the survival of this one soldier. I'm sorry, I really like this because, as you were saying, there are so many parts of this puzzle, and Lurie does a good job of concentrating on two or three of them. But still, you have the feeling of the others who are collaborating. Yeah. Well, and also there's there's not like it's all one battle, but there's different sections of the battle. I mean, the outpost is. It's the size of an outpost, so there's a lot of ground to cover, and there's different people in different pinned down in different situations. Uh, and I, I, like I said, I think I think Lurie does a really 
good job keeping the action going. Oh, yes. But making it, and, and it's gritty, and like the last 40 minutes of the movie yes. is, is the battle. The battle, and it goes on. The big battle. I mean, they're, they're shot at. Yeah, they're skirmishes. Sure. Uh, but this is the big one. This is the big one, and he does a good job. And Lurie's not known for doing tons of action movies. He he does some more. He does not. He's done some more cerebral stuff. Well, that 2011 he, Straw Dogs, I thought, wasn't a bad effort. Well, yeah, that was that was definitely yeah that one definitely has the action <laughs> elements. Arson, I think the Senate, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he's done other stuff that are that are that are more just character dramas and and. You know, he worked on the TV show Commander in Chief with Gina Davis. That oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah. And so, so he's used to doing, you know, like dialogue-driven, character-driven stuff. But the fact is, so the fact that he's, you know, can sustain this forty-minute battle the, uh, is impressive. Uh, the it, <clears throat> the outpost is also called something like Camp Keating mm -hmm. after the Orlando Bloom character. Yeah. Because he's he he's he's killed. In the first third of the film, yeah. right, we lose him, and I what I, re, I what I liked about his role was the attempt to to take a meta view of everything mm -hmm. and say we're going to win this if we connect with the locals. Yeah, and of course they don't. I mean they they do, but they don't. Right? Well, but that shows but that shows the complexity of yes. it. Yes, you can connect with the locals, but that doesn't mean you connect with every single local, and that doesn't mean that the locals have total control. I mean, it's just like anything, you know, just because. You can connect with people here in Columbus doesn't mean that you're going to connect with everybody in Columbus right. or the leadership, that's or right. you're not going to have some faction of people who are upset you about different things. And that complexity, <clears throat> and that complexity you're talking about, is the best evidence to me when they have their meeting with the locals. Mm -hmm. And it's pointed out that several of the people there were shooting at them yeah. <laughs> from, the, from the hill yeah. the previous day. But that shows you. That also shows you wartime. Yes. There, there are times when you, when, when you have a truce or you have an alliance and you're suddenly shoulder to shoulder with somebody uh, who, who may have been taking a, a shot at you. Oh, Kevin. So it's a war film. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't like war films, you will like the character interaction. I think so. I don't believe there's that much blood. And it's not gratuitous. I right, mean, yeah. There, there's, there's blood, and, right. and there's, but, it's, but it's, you're right. And, and the reality is, is some of that stuff is... Not bloodless, but you don't right. always see it. Yeah, it's not gratuitous and thrown all over the place. Two medals of honor, uh, two medals of honor, I think. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time there have ever been two in a battle. Oh, okay. And uh, eight, seven to eight, I've heard, mm -hmm. died. Americans died out of fifty, which is pretty extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kevin Carr. Yes. The movie is The Outpost, and it's streaming mm -hmm. on Prime. What grade would you award it? I'm going to give it an A. Oh, very good. And just to keep us square, I'll give it an A minus. <laughs> but I think it's pretty clear that both of us would recommend this to almost anyone. Definitely.